Hey there guys, and welcome to a test of the Turtle Beach X12 headset mic. Now, I'm doing this again because I got a new headset since last time, and I've had this headset for quite a few weeks, maybe even a couple months. Uh, I think I got it July 4th, so yeah, I've had it for quite a while now. And you guys probably recognize my voice with using this headset already. But the reason I'm doing this again is because uh, last year, back in October, I did a video of the Turtle Beach Z11 headset, and that video drew in about 4,500 views, and that surprised me, and I read the comments, and I, I read every one of your comments, and that influenced a lot of people to buy that headset. So if you're looking to buy a Turtle Beach X12 microphone with a headset, uh, this is what it's going to sound like. There is none of this... Uh, mic test stuff for you. Go to a video, you click on it, and there is just a person talking into a camera and showing you the mic. Those are really frustrating. So those are those videos are the reason why I make these ones. If you're going to buy a mic and if you get the settings the way they should sound, then this is how the mic is going to sound. So um, let's talk about it compared to some other headsets. And if you want to know how to get the settings like they should sound, I should have a little tutorial down in the description, so check there after you're done watching the video. Um, this, compared to the Turtle Beach Z11 mic, has uh, game audio and chat audio. It also has a bass boost option if you're into the Xbox gaming. I'm using these for PC, but if you're into the Xbox gaming, I could really, really see the use of chat and game volume. Also, instead of the Turtle Beach X12, uh, I mean, excuse me, there is Z11. Uh, this comes with a USB also. So if you're if you're gonna do this on computer, you need a free USB 2 port, where you can put this in along right next to your microphone and headphone jack. So it is gonna have an extra plug-in, other than the Z11. Also, uh, it has a 16-foot cord instead of a 4-foot cord like the Z11 does. Um, let's think of some other differences here. If you plug it in with the USB, what you need to do for the computer, you will hear some white noise in the background of your headphones, which isn't always the best. I have learned to live with it, but after you're done with the Z11, it's not quite uh, what you want to hear. Overall, since this is $60 and the Z11 is $40 or $30, I'm going to say if you're not going to show your face, you want to go with the Z11 Uh I don't know about this for Xbox, by the way. If you're going to be doing it on PC, I'd say go for the Z11 headset because it is lighter. It does look more bulky, but it's actually lighter and it rests easier on your ears. It has a better mic. Uh, not exactly a better mic. That's a matter of opinion. It has a just as good as mic is what I mean to say. It delivers great sound. Uh, the cords aren't as easy to tangle and they plug in well. And... Yeah, and they're ch they're cheaper too. So really, I would go with the Z11 over the X12 just because of the price difference. But if you're into Xbox gaming or you just want to try the X12s, this is what they will sound like. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.